Little but mighty! Hi, I'm Miss Nelly from Little But Mighty English and today we're going to learn how to paint a picture in the reader's mind by using our five senses. All our narratives take place in a certain setting where the main character can be found. For instance, we can have our story start in a school canteen where the main character is. Apart from saying that our main character was in a canteen, queuing up for his turn or eating his lunch, how else can we paint a vivid picture in our reader's mind by using the five senses? When we use the five senses descriptive writing technique, we do not always have to use all five senses in our writing. Instead, we will usually pick two or three key senses for our descriptive writing. Most of the time, we would pick sight and then we would choose either smell or sound. The choice of which sense to use would depend on the setting or place. For example, if we are describing a canteen or a food court, we can use sight, smell and taste so that we can describe the variety of food being served and eaten at the food court. However, if the story setting is in a park or playground, then it would make more sense to use sight and sound instead. Now, let's try to apply the five senses technique to these situations. Now, let's look at situation one where our main character Brian is in the school canteen during recess. Can you identify the five senses in the example above? Did you notice the expressions of sight, sound, and smell in the improved version? Notice then other than the five senses, I have actually added in background information to explain why Brian was so hungry. To wrap up the descriptive paragraph, I also describe the character's feelings. Doing this will help the reader empathize with the main character. Take a look at the improved paragraph and see if you can identify the background information or feelings of the main character. Now, let's look at another example. This time, instead of the canteen, let's imagine our character is now at the playground. Can you identify the five senses used in this example? Notice that I have used the sense of sight and sound instead of smell. This is because it will be more relevant to describe what Evan can hear at the playground. Additionally, I have also added some background information to explain why Evan was having so much fun at the playground. To wrap up the descriptive paragraph, I have added in the second character's speech and actions to show how he interacts with the first character. Doing this will help to paint a vivid picture in the reader's mind and help him to visualise how the scene would look like. Now that we have understood how to use the five senses in our descriptive writing, why don't you apply these techniques to the situations you encounter in your writing? Remember that you have to add in some background information and either the main character's feelings or speech between two characters in your story. This will help to dress up your descriptive paragraph and make it much more engaging for your readers. Have fun writing and see you next time. Adios! If you've been enjoying our content, please remember to like and subscribe.